Welcome to the Progeny Rx Medication Administration video series. My name is Hannah. I'm a nurse at VFP Pharmacy, a Progeny Rx Pharmacy partner. In this video, we'll discuss how to mix and administer cetratide. Cetratide does require refrigeration at all times. Prior to the use of mixing this medication, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water and make sure you're using a nice clean surface. In this little kit, it's all self-contained. We have the alcohol wipes, a pre-filled syringe of diluent, the vial of cetratide powder medication, and two needles, a long needle for mixing and a shorter needle for injection. This is a subcutaneous injection. We're gonna flip off the cap of the cetratide powder medication and alcohol wipe the top. You're gonna pull off the cap for the syringe. This long needle has a paper wrapping around the top of the needle. Hold the cap by its base and twist the top to open. Screw the long needle onto the cetratide syringe. It'll expose the needle. This is for mixing purposes only. Press the needle through the rubber cap and inject the water slowly into the cetratide powder. Cetratide may take up to a minute to dissolve. Do not shake it, just gently swirl it. When it is completely dissolved, you just pull back on the plunger to remove all the liquid. Replace the cap carefully and untwist. And then do the same for the smaller needle. Grasp it by the bottom of the cap and untwist the top. Screw the shorter needle into place. Tap any bubbles in the syringe to rise to the top. Press on the plunger gently until you see a droplet form of the tip of the needle. You're now ready for your subcutaneous injection. For subcutaneous injections, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. The most common site is the abdomen, using the left, right, or below the belly button, staying approximately one to two inches away from the belly button. You can also use the back part of the upper arm or the outer aspect of the upper thigh. Alcohol wipe the area and allow to dry. The needle goes straight in at a 45 to 90 degree angle to press the plunger until it's all injected. Pull the needle straight out and use gauze or tissue if there's any bleeding. The Sharps container comes with a permanently sealable top. Open the lid. Without recapping the needle, dispose the cap and the needle into the Sharps container. You can close the lid, but do not seal it until it's full. If you have any further questions regarding your medications or protocols, please call your doctor's office or the pharmacy where you received your medications.